flashing bulbs and flowers in bloom. The perfect setting for a flawless photo. Thousands making their way through the Nightfest gates for a chance to experience Commonwealth Park after dark. It's very different. I've come to Floriard during the day throughout the entire life of Floriard and uh, Nightfest just adds another dimension which is wonderful. Some travelling from as far as the top end to take in the shining spectacle. It's cold, that's why I've got my jacket on, but it, it really is spectacular. You don't get this anywhere else. And just the breadth of the displays and all the stalls and the food, it makes, makes it a really good night. But it wasn't just these flashing bulbs on show, with plenty of music and produce to keep these crowds entertained. It's pretty cool, like, when they... We checked out a lot of stores and it's then the food's pretty nice. Despite a bit of rain and the NRL Grand Final clashing with the schedule, the festival organisers say they've seen a strong turnout. We don't know the numbers just yet, but look, it's looking like it's going to be one of the biggest night fests that we've had in recent years, so we're really, really excited and happy about that. Organisers now keen for feedback, with planning already underway for a bigger and brighter night fest in 2020. Anybody that they want to see, if they want us to bring anything special, if they've got ideas, you know, do they want to see more? things in the parlour, what would they like to do? Would you like to do yoga at night? You know, let us know your thoughts. Lewis Haskew, Win News.